What is up, YouTube? Fluttershot. Let's see, we got some more draft champions, so we're going to start off with the coach right now. I was thinking about getting the Falcons coach because I haven't used their playbook this year. Uh, I also have the, um, the 49ers playbook, which I'm a lot familiar with, but I also like the Steelers playbook a lot. So, that's what I'm going to choose. In the first round, all right, we're going to get the Laney Walker, Jimmy Graham, and Jeremy Macklin. I want to get Jimmy Graham because six foot seven. how could you not want that? But I haven't used Jeremy Macklin. Got to show my Chiefs a little bit of love. j Max has been just killing it uh, the past few games for us. So here in this round, we get flashback Mike Vick just out of nowhere. Just He just popped up. Just like, here, I have a flashback Mike Vick. And I'm like, all right, thank you. I will take it. So in the next round, all right, okay, we get David Amerson, Gerald McCoy, and Dante Hightower. I was really looking towards McCoy. I didn't really look towards Amerson at all. Maybe I should have, but I'm really looking at Dante Hightower, and that's who I'm eventually going to end up drafting. Solidify those linebackers a little bit because uh, I use my linebackers. So I need some good linebacking options. We do have Wesley Woodyard. Uh, I would still love having that option. And then this round, look at this. We got Hines, Ward, and Dominic Hitsu, and Rob Gronkowski. Now, for a second, I thought about getting Gronk, and I was like, you know, and you get Hines, Ward, you get a legend, you got to take it. But this next round is even better. Actually, no, I was wrong. But we got Sammy Watkins, 93 speed Anthony Barr. How would you not get him? I mean, it's Anthony Barr, but this round is insane. Signature Tony Gonzalez and Ed Reed. Who do I take here? You guys know me. Gotta show the best tight end to ever do it some love. I gotta get Tony G, baby. 99 route running. That's insane. That's unheard of. And then this round, unfortunately, we get uh, Cunningham and McNabb. So I'm like, all right, I guess we're gonna go with Brian Finneran. But look at my wide receivers. Heinz Ward, Jeremy Macklin, Brian Finneran, and then Tony Gonzalez. Like, there's no way... My opponents are going to have anyone, any cornerbacks, linebackers that are going to be able to stop that deadly quad, I guess you would say, of uh, receiving threats. And then we got Flashback Vic. You know, he can run, but uh, I'm looking to pretty much just throw it up to Tony Gonzalez a bunch in this game. So you guys are going to be prepared to see that. But first, we're going to have to start on defense. So we got to make some plays. We got to get the ball back to our offense, but he's going to be running the rock here. He's got Christian Okoye, so that should be interesting. He's also got DeMarco Murray. Not sure how that's going to work out for him. And the ooh right there, we could have maybe gotten the pick, gotten position there, but fortunately he gets the catch on a first down and 10. He's going to go again, a screen pass, and look at Demarius Thomas down the sidelines. One man to beat Demarius Thomas into the end zone. And uh, yeah, don't let how good my offense is. We didn't get that good of a defense. We have no safeties. Our best cornerback is, I think, like a Logan Ryan or some crap like that, so uh, our cornerbacks aren't very good. Our secondary is not very good. Our linebackers aren't even that good. We just have Dante Hightower and Anthony Barr. But look at Tony Gonzalez, man. 99 route running. There is no linebacker that is going to be able to cover that that well. You have to you have to use her that in order for uh, you know you to have even a chance to cover it. And even with that 99 route run, he's going to get great separation. And this dude is out here in cover three. Like, he doesn't know that vertical just shreds cover three and Heinz Ward into the end zone. So, all right, Heinz Ward's already got a touchdown. Let's count in this video how many of my players get a touchdown and let's just see how many of them we get involved into this game on second down and one we stop that run there so third down and three Defense gonna make some more plays and I was right there luckily we do force the incompletion would have preferred to pick but so fourth down and three the defense gotta make some plays and that's not what we do right there that out route just kills man coverage and I like to call a lot of man coverage so you know you can see where that you know wasn't working out too well for me. Again, he's picking up some good yards, just pound the rock. Christian Akoye trying to roll out the pocket, and again, another just, you know, kind of like, he's kind of threading the needle just a little bit. It's so the first down and ten. Again, he's going to run it with Christian Akoye. We just hit stick him with um, Anthony Barr, but fortunately, we're unable to get fumble or anything. And this play is going to lob it up. It's going to be knocked down incomplete. Third down and 11, and we're finally going into the second quarter. This one, again, another first down, man. Oh, this guy, all right, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of doing good against my defense, and again, my defense isn't very good, and I'm not the best user on defense. I mean, I'm, I'm decent, but I'm, I'm nowhere near that good on defense. You know, I'm kind of like GS. On offense, I can pretty much do whatever I want. Okay, offense, I'm always comfortable doing whatever, but on defense, not so much. Uh, so he settles for just a field goal, all right, so he goes up 10-7. to 7. But now we get to come back out on offense... And we get to bring back out Tony Gonzalez, Heinz Ward, Brian Finner, and Jeremy Macklin, flashback Mike Vick. Like that, that's insane. That's an insane offense. Look at Tony Gonzalez. Tony G just burnt the coverage. Tony Gonzalez in the end zone for the touchdown. Easy just burning the coverage. That was so nasty, man. That was just... 
That was awesome. That was purely awesome. I love Tony Gonzalez. And I'm not saying he's the best tight end ever to play the game because I'm a Chiefs fan. It's just the truth, man. Just his size and physicality and just, you know, the way he's able to go in, up and catch those balls. He was by far the best. And, uh, you know... Really proud of him to be a to be a chief. And look at this. We get the pick with Janoris Jenkins. He's actually our best cornerback, excuse me. So now we get the ball back. So you already know what we're gonna do. Tony Gonzalez into the end zone. Another touchdown. This man is unstoppable. I mean, how how can you I mean I feel bad for this kid. Because there's no, I don't think there's a single linebacker that can cover him. And then DeMarco Murray, fumble Murray, fumbles the ball. He's going to rage quit out of here. So we got two games in one video for you guys. Hope you guys are going to enjoy that. So we're going to get into the next game. Uh, this is, I think, this is actually the th probably I think the third game uh, because I got another rage quit before this. So this guy's got Joey Porter, Devin McCourty, and Charles Johnson. So again, this dude, does n we obviously have the team advantage, but again, we always gotta always be the better player right that's the thing you know and Madden you can you definitely can beat someone who has a much better team than you it, it definitely is possible uh, it just requires a lot of work so after that run goes nowhere second down and 14 Austin Davis gets hit as he throws that's gonna be incomplete third down and 14 he's looking across the middle of the field this one's gonna be caught but it's incomplete just knocked out of his hands so he's forced to punt the ball so it's Quick th three and out by him. So now again, we get to bring Tony Gonzalez, Heinz Ward, Jeremy Macklin. Uh, Tony Gonzalez. I don't think I already said Tony Gonzalez. Um, yeah, we get to bring back our amazing, amazing offense. Like, this is just so much fun. Jeremy Macklin somehow catches that pass. I'm actually thinking about getting Jeremy Macklin on my mutt team because that dude is just an absolute stud. And then uh, look at this. Just, I mean, sure, we, we're not going to score on this play, but just look at that strength by Tony Gonzalez. Like, it's insane. And it's funny because he only has like 58 run block, which is, you know, I mean. True, T Tony Gonzalez wasn't really known as much of a run blocker, so I understand that. But uh, still, man, he's just he's insane. So third down, he knocks that pass away. So fourth down and goal. We're going to actually go for a screen, and it's not going to get us anywhere. So uh, we turn it over on down. It's definitely not how we, how we wanted this to go. But because of my offense, I know that I can keep myself in any game I play in this draft team and run just simply based on my offense. Like, my offense is just because, I mean... A lot of players, you know, they could draft, you know, a good cornerback, a good linebacker, but they're not going to draft, like, four of them. I mean, we got Tony Gonzalez, who we found, we've already found out he can burn the coverage. He can aggressive catch it because he's, like, six foot six. He has a great spec catch. We got Heinz Ward. He's got great spec catch, and he can burn you. Jeremy Macklin, he's got some pretty good speed spec catch. He can burn you. Brian Finneran, he's got great height and great spec catch. He can burn you, so... And then Mike Vick, he can beat you with his legs, and you can just run around. So it's just like there is just no way that anyone can really stop our offense as we score that touchdown right there. I can't. I think we threw it to Tony Gonzalez. I wasn't really watching. I was actually looking at my phone. But we still score the touchdown. We go up here uh, late in the first quarter. Yes, this is going to be a bit of a longer video, but hey, it's worth it, right? This team is so worth it. And how how did he catch that pass? Was it just me, or is that just an amazing catch? I mean, I mean. Hell, that's a really remarkable catch, <laughs> but uh, still, I have no clue how he was able to get that. So, uh, he's the first on there. He's moving the ball pretty well right now, and Doro Green Beckham's going to get into the end zone. I was shocked about how well that Doro Green Beckham was at um, beating my man c coverage, and I put, uh, I put a cornerback on him that has like 90 speed, so I was kind of shocked that Doro Green Beckham was that fast. But uh, And hey, we might get a team of the week, Doro Green Beckham, uh, the team of the week's going to be already announced by the time I post this video, but by the time I'm making this video, we could see a team of the week, Doro Green Beckham, and that thing is going to be straight cheese, and uh, Tony Gonzalez is also straight cheese, look at this, like he's just burning the coverage, he's just burning them, and uh, we score another touchdown, Tony Gonzalez absolutely unstoppable, he's just a mismatch, like, it's crazy, I mean, that card, I mean, it's a 97 overall card, so of course, it's going to be a freaking mismatch, I wish I could get that card in Mutt, but it goes for like a million coins, and I do not have that coin, I'm actually kind of close, so I could probably get them, but uh, that'd be a lot of coins, and plus, in Mutt, I don't know how many games he'd win me in Mutt for that many coins, as he gets the aggressive catch with Jordy Nelson, uh, Drive Champion is definitely a lot different, because players like that are going to shine a lot more than they would in Mutt normally, because in Mutt, you could play someone that has... You know, some really studly linebackers, really fast linebackers. And draft champs, you could play someone that's got a bunch of base silver linebackers that I think the guy that has the highest speeds, maybe like Malcolm Smith, he has like 87 speed. But for the most part, you're not going to find people that just have a bunch of stacked studly linebackers. 
and quarterbacks in draft champions. Occasionally you do, but for the most part you're not. So that's why you see players like that shine a lot more uh, in draft champions. You know, that's why uh, when I had Torrey Holt in draft champs and he just beasted it up, then I got him in Mutt and he sucked. That's because in Mutt people had better cornerbacks and stuff. And look at this. Again, Tony G burned in the coverage. Unfortunately, he was able to get that uh, uh, tackle on us. But still, Tony G absolutely just unfair. Heinz Ward unfair too. We get down to the one. Unfortunately, Heinz Ward didn't score that play. But still, Mike Vick, he's going to score. So uh, we've gotten a touchdown with, uh, I think, with Gonzalez, Ward, Macklin, and now uh, Mike Vick. So, again, we got to get Finneran involved, too, all right? We got to get him involved as well. So, now we are back here on offense into the third quarter. And again, I'm pretty much just throwing it up. Jeremy Mack, no, that's Hines Ward. And Ward breaking a tackle. I, oh, I so wish that Ward would have been able to break those tackles and would have been, uh, you know, gone into the end zone. We throw it up to Gonzalez, and he's got the catch, and somehow he drops it no clue how but he did so and then we get sacked on this place that's gonna bring up third down and in the midst of all this it, it may look like I'm dominating this game but it's only a one touchdown game which is kind of crazy I honestly like it's weird this was just one of those games where I felt in control the entire game like from I don't know just from like the kick I guess having a team like this having an offense like this that pretty much I can score at will uh, except for right here because uh, I have no clue what happened on this play, but I throw a pick. So now he has a chance to maybe tie the game. Like, all right, we maybe need to start playing a little bit more seriously right now. So first and ten, he's going to try to throw across the middle. These slants were killing me. Uh, kind of like la later on in this game, I wasn't playing. Uh, I guess I wasn't really playing as hard as I normally do. Uh, I wasn't paying, like, that much attention, but I may maybe I should have. And hopefully it doesn't end up costing us. So now third down and ten, we got to lock this up. He's going to throw it out to the receiver. And how... How is that not a pick for me? That's a pick for my opponent, like, every time. But for me, no, it's not. It's, not. it's the weirdest thing ever. So, he puts the ball. Diggs has got it. Uh, we still got two minutes left in the second quarter, or in the third quarter, excuse me. And I'm going to, again, find, I believe that's Jeremy Macklin on the out route. Macklin's got some great route running as well. He's another great wide receiver option. We're going to throw it up to Tony G again. And Tony Gonzalez has got it once again. Another touchdown. You, you just, you can't cover him. You just can't. Like, I felt, I feel so bad for this kid because he has no chance. Like, there really isn't anything that he can really do. Like, I mean, like, theoretically, he just can't like I you know I think it was just one of those situations he just ha he does not have the players to just match up with that and then again like if he covers that I still got Heinz Ward and Jeremy Macklin and Flashback Vic and Brian Finneran so it's just like there's too much and uh, you know one he was using his D, D line so he, you know I this guy didn't really know how to cover anyways but I mean still like even if he didn't know how to use her there's no way he's going to be able to stop, like, all five of those weapons. Uh, so, you know, definitely very glitchy, very overpowered. But, hey, that's that's draft champions, you know. I mean, probably the next time I do draft champions, I'll get, like, three or four elites t total, and I'll have to work my ass off just to win the games. Uh, but now, actually, this game's actually getting down to the wire. Right? This dude's offense is keeping him in the game. His defense has got to come up with – I think if this guy gets just one – well, two more stops – that was such a dumb pick by me. I threw that route too late. Finner was open on that route. If I would have thrown that like three or four seconds later, we're talking about a first down, a completion. But instead, now we're looking at a tie game with three and a half minutes to go. And I'm like, oh, shit. Better start trying to play again. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so now we got a tie game. Now, again, my offense, I can pretty much just score at will. Tony Gonzalez picking us up another first down. Down to about two and a half minutes to go. Again, Tony Tony Gonzalez. He's going to um, what's it called? I keep forgetting. Conservative tackle me again. But look at Finneran. Oh, how how does Finneran not catch that? I'm stubborn. So I'm going to call the exact same play, and he does not cover it. Finneran open, and Brian Finneran down the field. Finally, man, I haven't used Finneran in the longest time. It felt really good to use Brian Finneran again. And we score. We take the lead 35-28. to 28. So uh, that is huge for us right now, getting that score. So now, uh, you know, he's got, he still has two and a half minutes, and his offense has been very, very good, uh, you know, in this game. So 
But, you know, I I'm still a little bit nervous because, again, this guy's offense has been very good. My defense isn't that good. Uh, but, again, my offense, I know I can pretty much just score at will whenever I want, and uh, that's pretty much what's going to happen. So we're down to a minute 45 left. Does this kid have a clutch gene in him? He gets that big catch, and he's down to the 9-yard line, a minute and a half to go. Now, if he's going to score, I'd rather him score now. But we're just going to cut that part out, and... Anthony Barr is going to get us that pick. Just go down, go down, go down, you bastard. Come on, man, please. All right, so we get the ball back. That's pretty much going to be game. But you know what? Let's get David Johnson involved in it. He's got some open space. Look at Heinz Ward putting the pancake block. David Johnson down the field, 93 speed. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to break a tackle. And, you know, why not get our running back involved with this as well? And that's going to end the game, guys. He ends up rage quitting. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Fluttershy. Peace out and have a great day. And Tony Gonzalez is just disgustingly good. Like, he, he's disgusting. He's amazing. He's a glitch.